backwards a step backwards also so that's diminish so for example here this is our C major triad here C E and G C major triad if you want to form your diminished seventh chord the formula is the root which is your C that is one then the flat three this is the third right flat three and the flat five this is the five here this is the theory of C one two three flat it then this is the five of C one two three four five flat it also so this is the minus triad here or well, I go to seventh so seventh this is the seventh root of C one two three four five six seven this is the seventh note now you are taking this backwards by two half steps two semitones one two so this is it step this down step this down also so this is the minus seventh here so in the minus seventh you have you have three semitones between each of these notes three semitones from here one two three then from here one two three and then from here one two three also so you have three semitones between each of these one two three one two three and then one two three okay so here this is our diminished seventh here so diminished seventh is just uh intervals of minor thirds minor thirds this is the minor third of c then E flat, this is the major third of E flat, then E flat is the gain, minor third. This is the major third of F sharp. Then E flat is the gain, this is the minor third. Where you, where you uh, step down a major third by a half step, it makes it a minor third. So this is it here, can you see? So this is how to get your diminished, uh, diminished seventh chord. So let's move to C sharp and form the same. Three semitones between them. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All together. So we have just three diminished, uh, diminished seventh chord. Just three of them. So the rest are like inversions or repetition or so. So for example, we have, okay, we have C, we have C sharp and D. We have C diminished seventh, we have C sharp diminished seventh, and then we have D diminished uh, seventh. Okay? So the rest are inversions, and of course, you can judge with the root. You can name this particular chord with the root. You can say this F, this is the root here. So you can say this F diminished seventh chord. So let's go back to C. So, okay, D, let's form our diminished seventh chord on D. Don't forget three semitones between them. One, two, three. One, two, three, then one, two, three. Can you see? So we have just this three. We have C, for C, we have C, E flat, G flat, and A. For C sharp, we have C sharp, E, G, and D flat. And then for D, we have D, F, A flat, and B. So these are the diminished chords that we have. Okay. So if what if you want to play E flat diminished seventh chord, or you see something like F sharp uh, diminished seventh or A diminished seventh, how do you get them? Very very simple. C, let's invert C. Let's invert it. The first inversion. So you have to take this up. That's how to do inversion. Take the first note up, which is this. So can you see now? Still the same thing. Three semitones between them. One two three. One two three, and then one two three. So this E flat diminished seventh chord. Let's go to F sharp. It means you are inverting this also. So this we come here. So one two three, one two three, one two three. So and then we still have A. We take this up again, which is this here. So we have A. One two three, one two three, one two three. So this is simple. On F sharp. If you have to invert this, the first inversion will get E diminished seventh chord. Don't forget to inversion. Take this up, which is this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
Then the next one will be G. Take this up, which is this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then the next one will be B flat. You take this up here. One, sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then you'll be back to C sharp. Take this up. So this is very, very simple. Let's go to D. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's invert it. The first inversion, take this up, which is this here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then let's take this up. This is this here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then I think the last one, which is B. Take this up also. Which is this here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's that. Let's go back to C. Okay, so I want to say something on this uh, unit seventh chord here. Yeah. Uh, we have two tritones between each of these uh, between these chords. So this C diminished seventh here. We have two tritones here. The first triton is C and F sharp, and then the second triton is E flat and A. Let's go down to the applications now. How do you apply these chords? Uh, basically, uh, the theory says you can apply a diminished seventh chord by stepping down and stepping it down to a minor chord or a major chord. Okay, so what's uh, what's a minor chord on C? We have a minor chord on C. For example, we have D. D is a minor chord. We try to use a minor chord here. Then what's the major chord? C is a major chord, F is a major chord, G is a major chord. So let's use minor chord for example here. So how do you how do you apply a diminished seventh chord to this? Okay, so from D here, we have you can apply diminished seventh chord from this or from this. Step it down to this. It's okay, you are taking this up, you are stepping this down. This is C sharp diminished here. You can use this. And then also use this. So you are stepping this down. Yeah, you are taking this up. So the the application says you can use a diminished uh, seventh chord, the one that is above or below. So the one that is below, you can take it up to a minor chord. The one that is above, you can step it down to a minor chord also. So between this. Between this and this, we have D. So we have C sharp below D. We have D sharp above D or E flat. So if you want to apply a diminished seventh chord here, you can apply this. Take this up. Then you can step this down. You can step this down. Make this a minor seventh chord here. So this is how you can apply this uh, diminished seventh chord. It's very, the application is very, very simple. Step it down. Okay. So what if you are uh, you are playing a song? Uh, which song can we use now? Mm. Okay, yeah. the song by Nathan Ebazi. You are going from beginning to the end. Apply the chord. So now we are going to D, right? There is no place for argument. We are going to D. There is no place. So we want to apply a diminished seventh chord to D. So let's go back again. that if you are going to D, you can use your La to D. Okay, so since you are using your La, your La will be your root here. Then your right hand will be your C sharp diminished seventh chord. Now in version, you can call this G diminished seventh chord. Don't forget, it's still the same thing, C sharp in version. Okay. Right, so this is to
what I did, I just I took this up by uh, okay inversion also G sharp to B flat. So yeah, I I'm dealing with the melody here, not the melody of the song, but my own melody here. that so you can use this uh, on your minor chord on D so if I go to D La Re so yeah it will be La Mi G B flat C sharp E then take it to B flat C sharp E and G okay so let's apply it on E on A also A is also a minor chord La your La chord is also a minor chord so how do you apply this? You can apply this by by playing also. Can you see this is between G sharp and B flat? So you can step this and take this up. Okay, the application. So we are taking it up here. So you are going to your six, which is your line. You can use this. So here use your me here. So here use your F, G sharp, B and D. 